Hey, welcome to Dallas Sports, Ryan here. Guys, video for today, how to rip a rugby ball. Hmm, how do we do that? Simple drill to practice, especially for you youngsters. This is one skill I think that's sometimes not practiced a lot, like we do catching and passing and kicking. We've got Caleb, or who we've got, special guest. Caleb's gonna show us. Uh, and help us out. We've also got cones as markers. If you don't have cones, you can use anything you want. Just gonna quickly touch on when we rip a ball, you can do it obviously from a line out. If you're already involved in line outs and mauling, you need to learn okay how to secure the ball and how to do it. Sometimes we just quickly run through it. You need to rip the ball as a coach and expect people to do it. But the very effective way especially if you're defending as well or when someone is on the floor and you want to steal the ball this is a good example of what we've got here a good drill you could utilize even in a small space where it's safe okay let's show you so caleb if caleb holds the ball like that you can see there's space there this is for practice only check it out guys body position nice and low i'm turning 12 o'clock into six o'clock open palm from 12 to six okay when i'm engaging from here to there 12 to 6 I get my arm over the ball like a shield again okay? from there to there okay and i'm not using a lot of aggression or speed we're only working on the mechanics of the movement okay i'm, I'm using my momentum and i'm sinking as well transferring the ball from front to back we all know why because we don't want the opposition to get their hands on the ball i always make sure we practice both sides do four or five reps from here to there okay nice and easy slow from here to there okay Caleb your turn from here to there okay he's going a little bit fast there but let him go a few times and we'll have a chat there to there okay get your hands closer together nice and easy good eyes up good notice he's stepping while he's stepping he's also punching at the same time it gives you a better base, okay, and, and, and more stability, okay. Do the other side as well. Always practice both sides, okay, from 12 to 6. Okay, the next one, if Caleb holds it, hold it a different way. Okay, this time the ball, he's holding it this way, different angles. I'm, I'm still using my, my, my hand and I'm punching through there, past the ball. I'm not going on the ball, I'm going past the ball. Past the ball there. Okay, and then I rip the ball. I'll do it again. Hands together, punch through, and then rip it. Get up your turn. Okay, ball, punch through. Okay, and rip again. Step, punch through. Okay, notice on that one, he went over the ball. Okay, and let's try again. Punch through towards me. Good. Okay, one more. Punch, punch towards me. Okay, and again. Okay, bring your hand. So in this case, he's going over the ball. We want him to go past the ball and then down. Past the ball. Try that again. Past the ball. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so for progression, obviously we don't want to spend too much time. It's very simple, but it's effective. As you can see, we've got a blue cone or orange a pink and a green cone we're going to be in the center of it okay and Caleb is gonna get his hands over the ball hands over the ball and I'm gonna shout the color cone and he's gonna try and rip the ball going in the direction of the cone that I'm shouting okay so you ready aggression okay nice and easy blue he's using his head he's pulling he's pulling green where's green where's green where's green where's green rip the ball rip the ball come on Come on, fight, fight, fight. Orange, orange, where's orange? Where's orange? Where's orange? Where's orange? Come on. Okay, stay low, stay low. Use your feet, use your feet. Pink, where's pink? Where's pink? Where's pink? Come on, stay low. Rub it, rub it, rub it. Find your way. Do it, do it. Okay, so. That was hard work, wasn't it? Whoa, I'm out of breath. This is a good example of. Just putting yourselves in an uncomfortable position. Constantly adjusting. Okay, which way is comfortable? Uh, if you do, like I said, spend a short amount of time, four to five reps. If you do get to rub the ball, whoever, whoever had the ball can do a forfeit. 
five push-ups or whatever, ten star jumps. Okay. Normally, Caleb, Caleb hold the ball. If Caleb hold the ball, and I come and try and drop it, I'm obviously using my force to go backwards. In rugby, we want to go forwards. Think about that for a second. So, if I go there, Caleb, you shot the color. Blue. Blue, so I'm dropping it, I'm pushing forwards, I'm pushing forwards, and then dropping the ball, and then go to blue. So always use the momentum of the player as well, of the opposition. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really liked it, like, subscribe if you haven't already, uh, and share. And also, for everyone who's been supporting us all along, uh, you know, and following us, that's absolutely fantastic. You know, we can't keep doing this without your help. Thanks See you for next watching time. the video. Bye. Cheers.